Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd discuss Luminar Neo update version 1.1.1. Uh, so most of this update are bug fixes. A lot of them have to do with uh, uh, different things with the masking system within uh, Luminar Neo and some of them have to do with uh, Neo uh, crashing under certain circumstances. So this update should make things more stable and it should uh, make the masking system more better. But there was one feature that was added to it which is duplicating layers uh, which is actually very useful and I'm going to show you uh, how it's useful. Now it's not absolutely necessary. You can save some time in some cases but it gives you options of how you apply certain things. So, first off, let's go here and if we wanted to make part of this photograph black and white, that's easy enough to do because all we have to do is is uh, come down here to where it says black and white and uh, we can go convert to black and white, we can go to masking we can go invert masking, we can go to brush, for example, and we can just brush the area. I'm going to do some of the area around the door. I'm not going to brush off strictly just the door because I want to, to, to uh, use this as an example. So I'm going to go over onto the wall as well here. And so you can see here now part of the photograph is, is black and white there. Now, if we wanted to add um, grain into this, but just in the black and white, not in the color, we would go down to uh, film grain. Let's exaggerate it a bit. And you can see it comes off into the color right here. Well, what we can do without duplicating this uh, layer is we could just go over to edits here and we could go to black and white and we could go to masking and we could copy that mask and we could go back up here to masking and then paste the mask and so you see so now it's just limited to the area that's black and white so we can layer different um, effects in different areas of the photograph using masking well, so this is one way to do it, but Luminar Neo added um, layers, so you can do similar things. You can do masking on the layers and do similar things as well. So the nice thing about that is, let's just uh, revert this back to the original photograph. And so we're going to uh, go over here and we can right click over here and duplicate the layer. So now we have two layers exactly alike. Now first I'm going to go and I'm going to hide this layer and we're going to work on this this photograph right here. So what I can do with this, say this is the section that I want to make black and white. I can go up here and I can go to uh, black and white. I can convert it to black and white. I'm going to leave the, this whole layer black and white. Then I'm going to go down and I'm going to go to film grain and let's exaggerate it again so it's really obvious. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this layer above, show the layer, and what I'm going to do with this is I am going to uh, I'm going to go to uh, masking and I'm going to go to the brush and I'm going to go to erase and so then I'm going to erase the part of the mask where I want the black and white photograph to show. And I'm, once again, I'm not trying to get exactly where the door is because I want to make it really obvious here. So, so we could actually mask out whatever layers we parts that we wanted in the in the layer um, that we wanted to be black and white in this case. <clears throat> but in this case, by duplicating the um, layer because we're doing multiple effects it actually saves us some time because we don't have to recopy the mask over and over again but that's two ways to do the same thing in Luminar and that's 
how you duplicate masks and one way you might use a duplicated mask. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.